My name is Robert Gleason. I'm the co-author of Gary Jennings' Apocalypse 2012. I was born in a kind of rusted out steel town near Gary, Indiana, in north, northern Indiana, called Michigan City, Indiana. The, uh, my mother always said I was born under the sign of the apocalypse. The, uh, the, the night that, I, that, that she had me, the, uh, that she wanted to go dancing, and it was a some warm summer night, and she, uh, she, my, she got my father to take her on a, at an outdoor dance place on Lake Michigan. And she was dancing late at night and uh, drinking and smoking. And she broke her water on the dance floor. At which point my father took her to the hospital. And at two in the morning on this warm summer night, the, inexplicably, the city was, was hammered by a hurricane of hailstones the size of golf balls. It broke all the street lights. It, was the, uh, it broke all the windows in the hospital. I actually have a copy of the front page of the newspaper that mentions the damage the, uh, the, the, the hurricane of hailstones did, and it says actually at the bottom that I was born to my mother and father that same night. The, uh, the, the whole city thought that they were being bombed by the Japanese. It was during World War II, uh, which they weren't. But my mother always said I was born under the sign of the apocalypse. So I've come to the subject matter naturally. Uh, you wonder, well, is, is, you know, is uh, destruction of the world feasible? Well, unfortunately, in the history of our planet, we have found records of 20 major extinction events, which ex exterminated practically all of life and, and many, many species with each, e with, with each event. And they, they range from everything to asteroid strikes, that the, the Apophis asteroid is going to be coming within, uh, in 2029, is going to be coming within 18,000 miles of Earth. In uh, 2036, it's going to literally be too close to call. If it hit North America, it would destroy everything in North America. That we have uh, the, uh, uh, the, there's the, the Yellowstone supervolcano, it's caldera, it's 35 by 45 miles. Uh, it blows every 600,000 years and basically destroys most of the life in North America, what it does. It's 40,000 years overdue. They have websites now that, that measure how the, uh, the unprecedented bulging of the caldera, that measure the incredible increases in heat uh, that it seems to, to be on the verge of blowing. We've had extinctions that were caused by, by uh, horrible methane leaks from underneath uh, sub-oceanic sub methane, le methane leaks. If global warming succeeds in melting the firm permafrost, all the methane will come up from under the permafrost in the Arctic and could do hor horrible damage. Uh, there have been horrible incidents of solar storms. So that, the, yes, there is a great deal to fear about. And, uh, and, and probably most important, you know, human knowledge, human technology uh, has not made us safer. Uh, we, were, we, that, uh, we, we were actually safer 75 years ago. That we're, you know, during the last 75 years, these incredible increases in human knowledge and, te and technology have brought us closer to extinction. We are much closer to, uh, to, to, to self-destruction. In, in the past, species only had to worry about natural uh, causes. You know, we are quite capable through nuclear weapons. Through, through we, we've, we've never locked up Russia, Russia's loose nukes. Uh, that that, uh, that gen genetically engineered plagues are shockingly e easy to, uh, to manipulate and create. It's, we, we are actually closer now than we have ever been to, the, to this kind of destruction. I want to emphasize that I think the Mayan 2012 uh, pr prophecy is critically important to Homo sapiens at this juncture. Uh, as I said, we, we were safer 75 years ago than, than we are now, and all the increases in technology and, and knowledge are, are making it more dangerous. Are, are making the planet more dangerous. We're, we're, we're a menace to ourselves. And the, the, the 20, it, it's good to have the 2012 prophecy. Dr. Johnson said the prospect of being hanged in the morning wonderfully concentrates the mind. Well, maybe the, the, the concept of a 2012 apocalypse will concentrate the mind. Maybe it will make us think about, about what we're doing to ourselves, to the planet. If nothing else, the, the 2012 prophecy is a cautionary tale that will Ho hopefully leave, leave us wiser, and I like to think that as Gary Jennings' Apocalypse 2012 will we'll leave the reader wiser.